Hello everyone, this is Paul with Jones and Four Tools, live at the JFT Studio. All right, today is a special day, and I'm going to tell you why. We are reviewing gear wrenches. Let's see, I think you can see it. Yeah, this kit, the Gear Wrench 92 Gear Pack. Um... This kit has a lot of stuff. This is part of their uh, Bolt Biter Auto Bite Gripping Power Kit. They call it the Pitbull or, or something or another. But you get all this stuff in one kit. Um, the order number is 81002 is the part number. 81002. Okay, just we just got it in. It was delivered today on uh, Sunday. Uh, by somebody. But anyway, I'm glad they delivered it today. Um, this morning, I seen that it was supposed to be out for delivery. But it actually came on a Sunday, so that's good. Um, now, let me tell you why I bought this kit. Uh, I started out with, with a set of these. And um, I already have a set. But since this kit comes with this one, my son Ryan is going to end up with it. Uh, but these uh, uh, eight-piece extractor socket set, SAEM metric combined, they're great. When you when you round off a bolt by accident, or or that's the way you, it came, and you got to get it off your engine or something, I tell you what, you put one of these suckers on it, it's coming off. Not only will it come off. But if you had to, you, you shouldn't put back a bad fastener. But if you have to, you could even tighten it back up with one of these. But uh, this is just one part of this uh, uh, pit bull uh, bite system, whatever. But this is the sockets. Um, and the sockets come on its own rail. Now, you can buy each one of these kits separately. But uh, this kit, uh, I got a good deal on it. Uh, I don't buy stuff unless I get a good deal. This kit, if you buy all the parts individually, it's like 150 bucks. But this kit is normally like 89 bucks. Uh, but I got it on sale on Amazon two days ago for 64.95, and that's why I bought it. Uh, like I said, I already had this, so so this is extra for me. So my son's going to get it. Uh, this kit also comes with a. Uh, a 3 8 ratchet, uh, 92 soft grip. I have the half inch one just like this, but longer. Um, but I, I don't, I didn't have the 3 8. So uh, that's another reason why I buy it. This alone is like 45 bucks. Okay. And this kit comes with these uh, gear wrench auto bite. Um, let's see. What are they called? The auto bite system. Um, but this one, you come with, it comes with two uh, two sets of these. One's 10 inch, and this one is eight inch, okay? And on top of that, you get the, the uh, what do they call this one? The bolt biter uh, screwdriver set. Um, now, I'm like, man, I got all kinds of Phillips and flathead screwdrivers, but there's something special about this. These have the striking caps. So when you hit it, they'll actually turn and get out a hard fastener uh, that can't get out. Um, even if they're stripped. You look on this, it shows you the different things, right? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare this to something that you'll probably... Uh, you'll see what I'm talking about here in just a second. Alrighty, so... So anyway, so let me open these up. Use this automatic knife. Cut this stuff open. This knife is sharp. I gotta make sure I don't cut my hand. All right, I know you're excited. I'm excited too. Ah, I hate this plastic stuff. It is such a pain to get out, but it's okay. We'll get it. All right. And we'll get this other one here. Wait, you know what? Let me try to go out through the back. Ah, there we go. Rip it open. 
Okay. All right, here's screwdrivers. Let me go ahead and, and open up this stuff. I'm gonna, that way I don't have to waste time. I should have done this before, but I wanted to show you it in its packaging for some reason. All righty, hold on, we're almost there. All right. And I've been getting a lot of gear rent stuff lately, but gear rent is the only stuff that's been going on sale. I like Milwaukee, DeWalt, uh, uh, Snap-on, Matco, but I can't find no good deals on nothing. So, my tool addiction is going to gear rents lately. Um, all right, we're almost done, folks. And then we got the this last thing, this, sorry, sucker. Ah, hold on. I know. Let's use the new pliers. All right. They're very how to operate them. There we go. Look at that. Oh man, now we got the stupid little. We're getting it. Ah, I know. I know this is funny. I'm glad you guys are laughing with me. Not at me, right? Just joking. There we go. All right. There we go. All right, everything's free now. So, uh, yes, I'm smoking. That's mother addiction besides tools. So, first impressions. Let me let you take a look at these. Um, how do you open these things? Oh, all right. Let's take a look at the jaws. I'm trying to get this in focus. Wait. It looks like a dinosaur trying to eat you up, huh? Let's see. I think you can see that. But anyway, let me take a closer look. All right. And these are pretty aggressive. But look at, look at this mechanism right here. You can, they can slide up and down with no problem. And then they have this doohickey right here. You click this, this is the auto bite system. So now watch this thing right here when I clamp down on something. See how it moves, it bites in there. I don't know how that's gonna work. We're gonna see. Interesting. Now, let me compare it to some Knipics. Uh, well, here. Uh, well, anyway, all right, here's the Knipics. Let's see. Here's the Knipics. Here's the gear wrench. Let's see. All right. Uh, I'm trying to figure out a way to. They're they're pretty dang similar. Um, the the gear wrench seems to have a, a little bit thicker. I mean taller. I wouldn't say thicker. Let's see. Let's look at the thickness. The thickness side to side is about the same. Uh, the weight's about the same. Now on these these are the older Kinepics. Uh, they don't have the push button slide. These are just a manual slide. But these have been great. I, I love these right here. Um, but these were expensive. Um, this whole kit, if like this by itself, um, I think this was $24 uh, for the 10-inch uh, ones. All right. Um, now this, this, this grip, the soft grip, um, I typically like to dip ones like this I don't have too many pairs of um, this type of grip except for I got one pair of Irwin pliers that are like this but I don't, I don't use them um, I'm gonna have to try these out and tell you what I think now they're comfortable in the hand and they're supposedly better on your hands when you when you really got to put a lot of force compared to the to these ones but I don't know. I got I got to try them out under, um, you know, some stuff. But uh, all right, now let's see what are we gonna go over. So, so these screwdrivers. This is the Phillips number two that comes with the kit. Okay. Now, 
year round change their colors. Uh, like I just did a review on the, the radiator pick set uh, with this new grip. Um, and just like in that, this grip compared to the old red and, and black color scheme, they got the new logo. But this grip is a little bit, this, this part right here, this black part is a little bit softer. This is the harder plastic. And it seems like you get a better grip on them than you used to, okay? Um, plus the screwdriver shank is black in color. And it has a striking cap. So when you're on a fastener, okay, the screw that possibly stripped out, you take your hammer and you hit the back of this. And when you hit it, it turns. Bam, turn, bam, turn. And you're able to get those stuck fasteners out. This is part of their bolt, bolt biter bit set. Um, okay. Now, I'm going to compare this to my vessel. And the reason why I'm comparing it to this vessel, because of the striking cap, okay? So, whenever you hit this vessel in the back, it turns. This is also a number two, but this has a different tip. It's not a Phillips. They call it a, uh, what, what do they call it? J, JSG or something. But, um, let's see. It don't sound the, the plate on, on this. But um, Japanese screws are, are a little bit different. You can take them off with a regular Phillips, but you, you might end up stripping it. Um, the head is just a little bit different. Let's see. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell. Man. Uh, it's, it's hard to see the difference, but there's a huge difference. If you ever have to take off a uh, Japanese screw, you'll know what I'm talking about. But the good thing about this, you can also use it on regular Phillips, and it works great. Um, but, okay, so you get the flat head and the Phillips with this set, okay? And you also get the gear wrench 92 ratchet. Let's hear it. Oh, I think, I'm, I'm sure you can hear it. You hear that? Pretty good. You got your uh, switch. Feeling good. All right. So, like I said, in this kit, you have your 10-inch pliers. You get your 8-inch pliers. You get your ratchet. You get the two screwdrivers. And you get the uh, bolt biter uh, sockets on a rail. All of this, $64 on Amazon. I don't know how long they're going to have that sale. I didn't check today. I did check yesterday, and the sale was still on. So we'll see. But um, I think this kit's going to be overall a great kit. Um, like I said, I needed this to go with my half-inch one. Uh, so this kit was almost worth it just for this. But with these pliers, you know, I mean, and these fancy screwdrivers, you know, I think it's a good deal overall, as long as you get it on sale. Uh, listen, this is Paul with Jones in for Tools. The whole point of this channel is to review tools for those that are afflicted with tool addiction, just like me. Hi, my name is Paul, and I'm a tool addict. And, uh, and if you like this type of content, consider subscribing to the channel. By subscribing, you encourage me to buy more tools and to do reviews on them. I, I know when I get ready to buy something, uh... I want to look at a video before I buy it so I could actually look at the tool and the dimensions. That's why I like doing these reviews. Now, you can go on YouTube right now and see all kinds of videos about these. But you don't have no videos about this kit, okay? Um, and that's why I want to do this video. So, so you guys can actually look at the tools, hear someone's opinion about them, and then make your own decision. These are also magnetic. Um, so, so, and, and I love a screwdriver that is magnetic. Because when I'm, I got that little fastener on there, I'm trying to put it. i tell you what, I was replacing a 9-volt battery on a cheap uh, multimeter the other day. And it had these little tiny screws. And I was using a screwdriver that wasn't magnetic. 
And every time I try to line it up, I drop the stupid little screw. And then I try to pick it up and all that stuff. And then I say, hey, dummy, go get a screwdriver that's magnetic. So I went to my toolbox and I got a number one, uh, I have a, a Tecton set and they're magnetic. And I was able to put that little screw in there and line up the hole and just take it down and go to town on it. And, and uh, I got it all squared away. But try not to buy any screwdrivers that are not magnetic. Um, but listen, thanks again for subscribing, uh, for liking the video, leaving a comment. All these things help. And uh, I want to thank you for your time because your time is valuable and I appreciate it. And, uh, and do me a favor. Ring the bell so you can get notified for my next video that comes out. But listen, y'all have a good night, and I appreciate y'all.